All right, thanks, Stacey. Hey, we are so excited to have some more folks from Lebanon here on the rooftop to talk to us. Yeah, here joining us now is Joe LePage. So he is the City of Lebanon Community Development Director. So how did you guys even start to prepare for an event like this? We did a lot of benchmarking. Back in 2017, my family and I, we were down in Eclipseville, USA, down in Kentucky. And so we took some of those things and we actually reached out to some of those people about different things that they could do to help really kind of set the stage for a great eclipse weekend or a festival and so we had a number of different things they mentioned time capsules and 5ks and so we just kind of scooped them all up and made them our own and we've been incorporating those over the past couple of days and culminating with a a great weather day and a a total eclipse coming up absolutely now you mentioned there's watch parties taking place not just here all over lebanon give give people an idea of what all is going on today? Absolutely. To the north side of our community, so if you're coming down from Frankfurt on State Road 39, we have a live band happening there and um, live music and fun for the whole family at the Witham Family YMCA. Our memorial park is pretty full on down State Road 39. We're hosting some some things here, obviously downtown. And then uh, at our field house, our brand new field house, is an extravaganza mm-hmm. taking place. Admiral Longley Park, which is, has a great view to the south, which is where the total eclipse will be happening. There's a live DJ there that's going to be spinning some tracks uh, throughout <laughs> The, the rest of the day. And then down on Indianapolis Avenue, there are two different watch party locations. A lot of our campers have been at the 4-H fairgrounds for the past couple of days. And then Freedom Church is also hosting as well. And so we have eight mm. different places. Wow. And so what we're hoping is people come in, they have a great time, and then when it's time to get home, they're able to do that, whether it be State Road 39 or I-65 or US-52, they're able to get out of town as quickly as possible. Okay. Yeah, and what, I mean, what does this do for the community to have so many people come in and get to see what all is here? I mean, this is pretty awesome to have here. And it's one of those things where we want it to be a win first off for our locals. And so for people that you know don't get to see a total a solar eclipse every year, every day, they're able to enjoy their own hometown and have a lot of different amenities that are added. But for those folks either from the Lafayette area, we had some folks from Sydney, Australia I got to meet this morning. So they're in town for the eclipse <laughs> wow. visiting family and some folks that maybe would never see Lebanon, Indiana again. And so we were able to put our best foot forward. And so we're, that was our, our win for that, the whole process, whether you're here in Lebanon or you're coming from out of town. You're able to see that the best representation of Lebanon that can be offered. So. All right, thank you so much, Joe. We appreciate having you up here. Hey, for the weather too, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, beautiful weather for this. Hey, let's take a quick live look here. We are counting down to the eclipse. We got a whole lot more coverage coming up for you this half hour and all day today on News 18. Stick around.